Eins. Yes, it was. It was because of the injury that I had, and uh, obviously watching the guys from the sideline is, is never nice. But uh, yeah, it's, it's good to be back training hard this week and just focusing on our process. What is the sort of talk in the camp after a defeat and three weeks that have probably been can be described as a bit difficult and challenging for you guys? Yes, obviously uh, during during the weeks we had a we had a good talk with each other, and uh, as we said, it's about focusing on our process, making sure we get we tick all the little boxes, and uh, yeah, just to come out and to to make our to make our proud, uh, fans proud, and uh, play as we know we can. Do you think uh, you know the Crusaders um, are they sort of the sort of side that will maybe bring out the best of the Lions again? Yes, I believe that. I think in this competition, obviously, as a player, um, you want to measure yourself against against the the good and, and the best teams. And I think they they definitely in that category. So as I said, for us, it's just to to make sure we tick the boxes and uh, we come and play as as we know we can. It could be a, Crusaders are well, like most New Zealand teams, and you haven't faced you've only faced one so far. But the Crusaders are one of those teams that like to take players out around the yeah, ruck area and take the, play the player further than the ruck. How are you guys going to counter things like that? Uh, um, I think we'll, we'll leave that to the officials. Um, as I said, it's just for us to, to focus on our job, to make sure we get our house in order and uh, not not to adapt, adapt to their style of play, but to just keep, keep in our process and, and keep working on it. And uh, is there any sort of unfinished business from last season? I mean, you guys obviously were hoping last season to win the, win the, the, the tournament, etc., but lost the Crusaders. Do you feel that you guys need, need to get on top of them? Yeah, as, as I said for myself, um, unfortunately, I wasn't privileged enough uh, to be here for that game. I had to watch it from the TV, but just from an outside, outside perspective, of joining the team, you can feel there's a there's a there's a good vibe for this week, and I think yeah, everyone just just want to go out and and, and give their best. Right. Have you guys had some? Have there been some harsh words spoken or nothing like that? Is it still very calm in the camp, or, or were there some guys that uh, had to stand up and take some responsibility for for the last couple of weeks? No, no, no I think as as we said, um, for us it's it's, it's, a, it's a, a, a team a team as a whole, and yeah, it's just to to keep working hard in that team effort and yeah, everyone knows their job and their responsibility and I really uh, firmly believe that we will go out this weekend and fulfill that responsibility as a team, not as individuals. Yeah, Toby, uh, um, the, the Crusaders lost twice this year and we've got a couple of the All Black Stars for you. You guys want to see them as maybe vulnerable? No, I think if you play a team like the Crusaders, they are uh, rich, rich in rugby history and culture and they will definitely bring uh, a good challenge to Alice Park, but yeah, just keep to our processes and keep working on it. It could be just on a personal level. It's, it's been actually, you've been well travelled actually in South Africa for the last few years, from Kings to Bulls to Lions. Just how's that journey been and how's it been to be back at the Lions actually where you started in uh, the late 2010? Yeah, and, uh, there was a, there was actually a bit of an overseas stint in there as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so now it's just um, coming back to the Lions, I think you realised um, what you have as soon as you missed it. So for myself, coming back within this environment, it's a massive honour and a privilege. And to be part of this team is, yeah, I love it every day and just thank God for the opportunity that he gave me to, to be back here. Did you find that having to play in so many scrums actually over the past few years, like Kings has a, has, a, has a system, the Bulls has a system, has almost like enriched you as a scrummer and as a prop, you know, just gaining that varied knowledge and applying it here again? Um, yeah, I think over the years you, le you learn a few things from different players, but as a prop, yeah, there's, um, you always learn something new every day against the guy you scrummage, but as I said, coming into this unit, it's a well-established unit, so for me fitting in adapting to their processes was very easy because I've been here before and yeah it's a it's a positive positive mindset and a positive positive atmosphere for a player to perform. And you guys have lost a game at home to a New Zealand side funny enough. How key is it to, to, to not lose a, a lot of home games I guess? Yeah I think I think for us it's it's not to focus on what not losing but just as I said to really do what we do and do it well, ticking our boxes, sticking to the process and I think the result will, will take care of itself then. Okay. Thank you. Happy. Happy.